Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back with another video. So today we have done Gene, we have done Colt, but we are about to do the Bull Gods world record video. Now before we get started in the video, the link to Pika's YouTube and Twitter is going to be in the description below. Make sure you guys check that out. He's the absolute god bull, been the best bull in the world since 2017. And we're already in the middle of 2020. So you guys can tell just how good and how experienced of a bull he is. With that being said, let's hop into some games. We have some games from Pika's perspective and we're going to show you guys how OP this guy is at bull. Let's get into it. All right, so here we go into the first game over here. So as you guys see, it's going to be myself, Pika, and Johnny. So this is a map from like two, three days ago. We're going to be watching from Pika's perspective, obviously. So you guys can see Pika over here. He's kind of just like, you know, doing his own. He is facing a counter, which is going to be M. So it's going to be a little bit difficult for him this game. As you guys can see, M's and Gene both have knockback abilities with their gadgets. So it's obviously going to be difficult for a bull to get close. But Pika is able to manage and he's able to get the kill. Um, so we're just basically going to be looking at Pika's perspective, commentating what Pika is going to be doing throughout this video. So you guys can see he's kind of just chilling in this corner right now. Not trying to get too far away from the M's and getting himself at a distance disadvantage. Now he knew that I was going to be pulling the M's towards him. So that's going to give him free supercharge. Also that free lane win, of course. So he's going to be chilling over here. He's going to charge into that gene. He's going to be able to get a kill and get a kill in the Pam and just charge weight right back out. Like as if nothing happened, as if that's an everyday play, he's going to be able to do it. And he's just going to stay alive after that double kill. Now what makes Pika so good with bull is not the way he aims. And by the way, he does not auto aim for whatever reason he aims when he's right beside people. So sometimes he even misses the easy shots, which is weird, but it's the way that he's able to understand bull and use bull super effectively, which no one else in the game is properly able to do game in and game out. So you guys can see over here, he does have a super. He's just going to ram right into that gene. He's going to be able to kill that Pam as well. And he's just going to leave with all the gems. Like if leaving was simple enough, he would have done it, but that's too easy for Pika. So he's going to be able to get that M's and then he's going to charge back out eight seconds left in the game. That's going to be it for the first game. You guys can see Pika's just absolutely beasting right now. So let's hop into the next game. Let's keep showing you guys what's up and how OP this guy is. All right, so here we go into the next game. Now, this was the next day. I believe this is the last time or the last map that we grinded Gene, Colt, and Bull on. So you guys can see Pika's just shooting that bush. You know, that bush was kind of looking at Pika the wrong way. So he's going to take a shot at it. But Pika's going to make his way up. So now he's facing a Mr. P, which is another counter similar to M's. Now, Bull, Bull can kind of just walk up, but... You know, that, that's not really what Pika does. And that's a little bit difficult if you're facing a really good Mr. P player. So he's able to kill that Rosa. He's alive, chilling over there. He's able to get out. And I believe he's looking for a lane switch over here because he can hold his own against a Rosa. But it is a little bit difficult against the Mr. P. So Pika's just waiting, trying to get to the outside of the bush as he wants to ram that, uh, that Rosa into the wall and get as close as he can, get the big shots. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to. And he's going to try dashing out after getting a super, which is a good play to break those walls. But unfortunately, that Rosa is barely able to hit him so now we're just gonna be chilling over here me and Pika are looking for a pull play gonna get that re really easy pull Pika's gonna be able to get that kill and he's just gonna grab that gem and dash right in there no time wasted for Pika at all he's, he's not about that life so again going right towards that uh, Rosa go trying to get those shots off he's getting a little bit too greedy over there he's gonna go down but he did do some good damage he did get a kill um, so he's doing a good job 10 nothing for us at this point he's probably gonna go for the dash over there on that Rosa gonna be able to get that really easy kill that's just a classic bull play never go beside a wall if you're ever facing Pika or you're gonna die it's just as simple as that anyways five seconds left in this game that's probably gonna be it I believe that's it I don't remember okay that is it for the game let's hop into the next one and again let's keep showing you the god bull let's keep showing you what this guy does all right so hopping into the next game it's gonna be on the exact same map Basically, is this the exact same comp? I think we're facing the exact same comp as well. So I guess Pika just likes facing this comp. And I don't know if you guys noticed. I don't know if he's been doing it. But he he kept switching his skins every single game. He's like, yeah, I'm going to use a new skin because why not? Um, don't really know why he does that. But you know what? YOLO. He's, he's Pika. He can do whatever he wants. So he's kind of just chilling over here. He's using his gadget. The way he uses his gadget is also so good. Because he just understands properly when to pop his gadget. When to surprise people. Stuff like that. The Mr. P thought he was going to move back because he was one shot. He said, nah, 
I'm just going to go right up to your face and kill you instead. Pika over there is able to kill the Rosa as well. So really good start for the homies. We're doing really well. And, you know, things are going well. Pika's able to get that kill when I pull, uh, when I pull the gene into him. We're going to get pretty close with him to killing that uh, Mr. P, but he's not going to be able to. He's basically just charging his super off of this Rosa. He's waiting for the super to lose shots. He's, or that Rosa to lose shots, not super to lose shots. Um, he's also going to be able to get that kill. Gene's going to shoot him. He's going to be able to stay alive because he popped his gadget. So he's doing a pretty good job this game so far. He sees that Rosa trying to go on the launch pad. He scares the Rosa off. Now this one might be a little bit difficult. Again, he tries to run away, but Rosa gets the best of him over there. And I believe this game's a little bit interesting. I kind of forgot what happens over here, but let's see. These guys are kind of good players. They're not that bad on ladder. Uh, Pika's going to try and... Well, they're going to try and kill Pika, I guess. He's probably one shot off of Super as he's able to hit a couple pretty close shots and walk away. The way he's moving, he looks pretty one shot to Super. We're going to be able to get a kill over there. Uh, so things are looking kind of good for us. Pika is just chilling on this launch pad, kind of just messing with it, doing his own thing. He's going to go and dive backwards onto the uh <laughs> onto the gene get his super off of the rosa and then dive backwards again and stay alive which is a pretty insane insane play if you ask me he's getting a little bit aggressive here as he always does but you know what it's whatever he's gonna stay alive four seconds left three and that's gonna be another end to the game so you guys can just see like no one else is making these plays with bull it's absolutely unreal so again let's hop into the next game show you guys what's up so here we go on to the next game now this game if i remember correctly was pretty insane else i might not remember it properly but i think i remember it being crazy so johnny's gonna be a bot at the start um i forgot how high we were at this moment probably around 1500 so we're facing b and double tank which is a really really good comp on this map now i know for a fact that bull loves facing frank you any tank kind of likes facing frank because you can just kind of charge into it so we have johnny's bot kind of just popping off over here i'm able to get my super so frank has gadgets so i don't really want to pull the frank we see the rosa right here so i'm gonna get that pull on the rosa Pika's gonna be able to get the kill he's gonna knock back that b as well and get the kill and then he's gonna go forward and kill the the frank as well so you guys can see we're kind of team wiping johnny's still a bot he's kind of just vibing i don't know how pika knew that the Ro <laughs> that the rosa was there but pika just somehow knows he dashes in he could have dashed out and stayed alive there but i think he just wanted to keep his dash uh he almost got a kill on that rosa but was just trying to make some plays now i think johnny's like lagging he's like half bot at the moment oh never mind pika is one shot i believe to super yeah he's able to get a shot now we get pulled stunned a bunch of stuff happens and here comes johnny bot trying to save the day um, he's lagging way too much and unfortunately I don't know if he's gonna be able to make a play I think he's gonna be able to he's able to get that kill But we do go down and we do lose a good amount of the gems now the Frank goes up. He's gonna stun uh, Pika, I'm gonna try and just go up here to protect Pika, but this B is just absolutely tapping This B is definitely a counter to our comp, so it's not looking really good for us right now Seven to four at the moment I'm able to pull the Rosa in so that we get uh, at least one of the gems back So now it's six to six where there's a seventh gem on the ground that we're probably gonna get John He's able to get that kill now pika does have super johnny's going for the clip as he has returned he's not a bot anymore he's not able to get it now this is a very close game at the moment it's looking a little bit dangerous for us right now pika does have super and he's just chilling on that right on that left side and it's pretty dangerous when pika has super we do have the lead though so i don't think anything crazy is gonna happen um they're gonna go for a play over here i believe pika's gonna stay up he's gonna dive away and i think i pulled the rose i think things end up okay yeah they end up all right we're able to get the kill and that's going to be the end of the game so this was not the game i was talking about there was one game that was absolutely insane i don't know if we have it we're gonna check but again pika dominating getting star player just bullying these guys at 1600 trophies and let's see what happens okay so after checking that is all the gameplay for pika's bull we have now the season did end and i believe he capped off at 1666 which gives him by far the biggest and highest number for 3v3, which is a very important thing. 3v3 trophies in NA. Huge accomplishment to Bull, uh, or not to Bull, I, I basically call him Bull. Huge accomplishment to Pika. He's an absolute boss. Again, check out his YouTube and Twitter down in the description below. But that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, let me know. Leave a like, sub, comment. You guys already know. But that's going to be it. I will catch you guys again later. Peace.